you mentioned something that I've been curious about and I've learned just in doing the show with you that there yeah. really are no simple questions. <laughs> I'm always expecting just a just a yes or no answer and you're like, well, it depends on your situation. But when when does capital gains taxes start? I mean, is there a, is it like if you sell a two hundred thousand dollar house, then you're going to be taxed? You talking on on real estate? Yeah, on, on, real estate. On, on, on well, it depends if it's your primary residence. I knew it. I knew it wasn't going to be depends, simple. Depends. Depends. Yeah. Actually, I was just talking to a CPA about this, and I was like, "What is your favorite answer?" And he goes, "Well, it depends, of course." <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. So uh, it is. It, it's so true because it's your primary residence. Then you have the exemption of two hundred fifty thousand dollars, right? And so. If you're married, then you have another 250000 so a total of half a million dollar gain, Okay. not the value of the house. People are like, oh, I'm going to have to pay taxes on this. It's a $600,000 house. I'm like, really? What would you pay? Did you pay uh, $50,000 for it? No, no, we paid four hundred. Oh, okay. Uh, you, you don't have a gain, right? Because And so that's the conversation we I have gotcha. all the time with people. Now, real estate, completely different. I have, you know, investment property, and I go to sell it. I've got a gain on what I bought it for, which is called cost basis to what I'm selling it for. And there's strategies to, to eliminate it, to defer it, right? There's to minimize it. It's really just what you want to mm -hmm. do with, do you need all the money now or can you take an income stream for the rest of your life and eliminate the tax? So, yeah, not a, not an easy, there's never a lot of layers to that onion. There's not an easy answer. Of course.